So my guy here is talking about how is it possible that the tree of life and the forbidden fruit has something to do with the chakra system and the awakening of your kundalini energy? And although initially you would have to say it does not in the sense of the people who were writing the Old Testament books would have known about this type of information. It is possible that during the time frame of Ezra and Hezekiah that they had contact with people from India and it's most likely that they did have contact with those people and could have possibly learned about this information. But because people are so uh, isolated in their views and would stick to what their culture has taught them, it's most likely that they did not converse in such a way that they would write their story into their into theirs. If they were writing other Semitic people stories, yes, but to write people from the Indus Valley, most likely not at that time frame. But what it does and can demonstrate is what's called mind share. And in this sense, a global mind share. A global mind share is that men being able to look at the stars, to look at trees, to look at clouds, to look at the flowers that grow, the animals, that men would develop the same type or similar types of thinking. And the sacred tree motif has been something that we have seen throughout cultures that never had contact with each other. The Norse mythology has the, or the Germanian mythology really is where it comes from. Well, actually it's Proto-Iranian. <laughs> has the tree of Yggdrasil, the, the world tree. But even the Hopi Indians had a world tree type of mentality, uh, mythology, mythology. So did the aboriginals, so did many other cultures around the world as well as the Indus Valley people had a mindset of a tree of life and a tree within your body that um, is that tree of life. So that tree of life motif or that tree of knowledge motif as well has always been something that I would give over to global mind share that people are going to come up with the same thing because trees exist all over the world for the most part and to see the roots of the tree look exactly like the top branches of the tree as above so below that mentality um, would have developed and could have well it did develop in all these different cultures that bird is loud but did develop in all these cultures <laughs> as well as uh, <laughs> I love nature uh, uh, as well as many other things like storm deities um, because everybody experienced storms, um, fertility deity, because everybody saw the fertility of plant life and, and animal life. So can you look at the raising of the Kundalini, the opening of your chakras to, sim to be symbolic to the same thing as we have with uh, your, your tree of life and your tree of knowledge of good and evil? Yes, we can. Because the whole thing about opening your chakras is coming from the earthly level into the, into the spiritual level by opening each chakra as you go up and ascend until you get open your third eye so you can see how all things are connected. And then thereby opening your crown chakra so that you can go into your Christ mind or Buddha head, whichever terminology you desire to use. Now, another way that this information could have also been spread, as could have been spread, is if you believe in the Sumerian story, which there is some type of evidence that a similar group of people, I don't necessarily believe the Sumerian story in the sense that a culture came from Nibiru, another planet, as much as I would say that there was a pre-Earth civilization that was highly intelligent, that was high, had high levels of technology beyond our own right now, and they represented with the little handbag that he's speaking of, that little handbag was a symbol that each culture around the world, the Aztecs, the Mayans, the Incas, the Sumerians, the Arcadians, the Kemetic, uh, the Indus, they all had these deities who carried these little handbags as well as those deities having a pine cone. And we know many cultures have related the pine cone, pine cone to the pineal gland of your third eye. And as the story goes with the comedic story, the uh, Mesoamerican stories with the Mayans and Aztecs, with the, um, who else got that story? The Indus has that story of after this world catastrophe, which happened around 12,000 years ago, the Young Adrias flood, that there was this great person or God who came from the clouds 
and help those people who survived to restart their civilization. And each one of those persons were carrying this little handbag as well as um, understanding the, the, the iconography of the pine cone representing the pineal gland. So there is a mystery there that we are looking and I'm waiting to be solved. But as of right now, it is only theories. There is no proof of this pre-civilization. Only the fact that these stories are incredibly similar. Oh yeah, and the, the aboriginals have that story too of somebody coming and restarting their civilization with those same iconography. So we, we don't have any solid, solid 100% proof no they haven't come and say yes we restarted civilization 12,000 years ago and everybody who had became primitive between that flood between 12,000 years to 9,000 years society restarted and so we came and helped them you know through through farming irrigation and all these other things and they mistook us for gods and we took advantage of it we don't have anything that proves that but with the evidence that we do have it is the most likely theory as far as our current modern history is concerned but there is certainly eons of history on this planet that happened beyond 12,000 years ago and we just haven't dug deep enough to find it all so I appreciate the question it's a good thought I love the thought it's something that I think about myself so you have a great day and remember always you got to free yourself to be yourself because your greatness is non-negotiable good journey good vibrations